What is going on guys and girls, it's Ghost Robo, welcome back to Pokemon. YouTube has been all sorts of crazy lately, there's been problems and messes and... Just follow me on Twitter if you want to know about that stuff, but in, in, in retaliation to all this madness, I've just been playing games with balls. Peggle has plenty of balls and Pokemon has plenty of balls. So we're here on Route 11. If the music seems low to you while well, it is on purpose, uh, Nintendo has been all sorts of crazy, so I'm doing the very best I can uh, to keep things under control and, and help my videos uh, not get crazy claimed by them. Uh, do you want to play? What's up with you? Ooh, I think it's a ghost child. Pokemon is back. I think this is episode 20. Yes, it's a freaking monumental double decade special episode. Psychic Emmanuel says hello and sends out Solosis, which looks like a... Let me get a better look at that guy. What does this guy look like? Looks kind of like... A stretched out apple with a gaping hole for a mouth encased... And coconut oil. This is very strange. I'm gonna fling him out of here. So, my, failed. Fling failed. Is that another one of those moves that I'm misinterpreting? <laughs> Remember when I did that with uh, what, what Pokemon was that? There was some Pokemon that I had a move, and I was like, oh, it was when I had my Pidgeotto, and it was using what was it using? Something like some attack, and it was supposed to like get rid of the Pokemon, and instead I was just I don't know. I was just wasting my time. Um, I am sorry if this, the sound is low, but right now the way YouTube's working, I, I have to do what I can to protect myself, protect my videos. So. You still get to hear me nice and good, and hopefully you can hear bits and pieces uh, of the audio. It's not that quiet, I don't think. Anyways, what's up? How you doing? Journeying through this weird world of X and Y. Um, yeah, I've been really busy lately, and then this whole YouTube nonsense has been crazy. But I'm going to try to get more of these episodes up, provided Nintendo doesn't freak out. Um, if they don't, then I should be able to post some more of these. Charmeleon wants to use Fire Fang. What? That sounds pretty dang scary and also potentially painful for his mouth. Tell me about it. User bites with flame cloaked fangs. <laughs> sounds pretty scary. I'm gonna get rid of Ember, because Ember is a silly one. Burn, baby, burn. Disco Inferno. Put on those fire fangs. Make it DiGiorno. Make the pizza with the fire fangs. Alright. Um, we'll keep battling. He's sending out a Sigilif. Sigilif? Sigilif? Sigalithal? Sigalithal. Sigalfield. Garfield. It's Garfield. That's what he's called. I knew it. I knew I could figure it out. All right. Sigalif uses Whirlwind and he blows Frogadier out of the arena. That's the move that I was thinking of. Whirlwind. And out comes a random dinosaur. This is all sorts of psychedelic daydream of doom. Rock tomb? He's going to side beam me, though, which dinosaurs hate confusion, as you can tell. That really soured my uh, day, but hey, rock to him. <laughs> Tyrant doesn't even care. If he goes down to level nothing, negative, don't matter, baby. He's coming right back. Uh, Tyrant is about to, to... No, not Tyrant. Um, whatchamacallit. My boy, Frogadier, is probably about to level up. Um, should I get rid of... What does Razor Wind do? Two turn attack. Blades of Wind hit opposing Pokemon in the second turn. Oh, it's 80 for two turns. That's like 40... Quick attack is 40 straight up. Thundershock is 40 straight up. Charge. No, I don't like that. Forget about it. Helioptile. Yeah. For me, Pokemon always feels like a nighttime recording game. So if you hear me yawn, it's because it's nighttime. I don't know. I just... I could record it during the day, I guess. I just... For some reason, like... I I, I don't know. I just... I pretty freaking put a sweatshirt on. I'm just chilling here with my Pokemon. That just feels... Feels right about now. Um, Let's look at our guys here. Whirlipede, Frogadier, Charmeleon. Um. Okay. You gonna battle me? Do you wanna battle? Do you wanna battle? Did we already battle this guy? Maybe we did. Do you like smooth stones? I love smooth stones. What is this? There's a crazy girl going ham on her, her psychedelic uh, cross-country adventure. I ran cross-country in high school. I was actually surprised. Oh my dear God! I've just been assaulted by a man in a blue skin suit in some sort of gi and or karate attire. I'm very worried right now. Salk. Anyways, I ran cross country in high school. I didn't think I would like it. I was actually surprisingly good. I was MVP of the uh, JV team my freshman year, which is pretty good. 
and uh, then I quit because it was boring. It was, I don't know how anyone does cross country um, in like the Midwest or anything because I ran cross country in California and there I thought it was pretty darn interesting um, because I got to run up mountains and, and cliff sides and all sorts of things like that and I just killed my favorite fire dragon. But it was interesting, like very terrain, hills and stuff. Um, and then in a, uh, oh, I want to catch this guy. What am I doing? But throw out a freaking whirlpool, whirl anyways. Um, and and then I, I I moved to the Midwest and I was like, holy crap, cross country here makes no sense. You're running on flat surfaces the entire time, and maybe it's more like legit for speed. But I would get so bored. I don't know how I would do it. I feel like I would be so bored, just running straight, and then turning and running straight, like up and down hills, switchback hills. It that was pretty awesome. This guy is, he's he's a problem Pokemon, and he's trying to beat up. My little, my little, my little bug. It doesn't look like a bug. It looks like a wheel, but it's a bug. I'm kind of low on on pokeballs here, so we're gonna have to catch this guy fast or put him in a bath of acid. So it's one or the other. Sock, you are. Why is this guy causing trouble? I mean, he's level 22. I'm just gonna throw the ultra ball at him. I hate to waste it, but we can buy some more later. I've got money. I've got cash, baby. I beat enough trainers to fill my coffers. Whenever I say coffers, I think of, like, Scrooge McDuck. Like, it sounds like such an old person thing. Like, anyone who's not, like, over 60 with a monocle doesn't say coffers. What am I doing? Who am I becoming in this Pokemon journey? Verlapede, he evolves. No, he's got a long way to go, but he will evolve into a third form, which seems pretty cool. And we catched... We catched... We catched him! We caught so Sock? Shock? Desiring the strongest karate chop, they seclude themselves in mountains and train without sleeping. He's on that Naruto diet, okay. Nice, box seven. I'm not sure. Why did you go to box seven? I don't have that many Pokemon, guys. Um, I feel bad about this recent death cycle here. Connect the internet. I'm already connected to the internet, bro. Why you do this to me? Um, I'm just doing a little bit of something that you guys usually recommend to me and I want to do, which is... When you're on a route and you're trying to catch Pokemon and things are going crazy, sometimes you gotta go back to the Pokemon Center. Don't get lazy. Don't stay out in the field too long. You gotta rest your legs. You don't want, you don't want to have holes open up in your feet and spiders crawl in and lay eggs. And then before you know it, you've got spaghetti spiders crawling out of your very own souls, the soles of your feet and the soles of your your life. So, it's dangerous. I'm gonna buy stuff as well. So this is a worthwhile trip. They don't even, s they don't even, s you don't even, you don't even sell them. Holy cow, that's too many. But I'll take six. That's okay. Um, how many super potions do I have? Zero. Seven. It's a lot of money. I'm, I'm all about buying them potions. I hate to... I just want to carry one revive. I mean, you know it's a lot of money, but... I just want, just want to carry it with me. In case, in case, in case. Things get crazy out in the forest by yourself. Does it ever turn to night here? I don't think there's really a day-night cycle in Pokemon. It's more like constant sunshine. Maybe your guy sleeps when you're not looking. Okay. Journey through the great beyond. What shall we find? Ooh, Hariyama. This must be the fighting master battle arena champion layer. That guy is massive. Holy God. How am I going to fit him inside of a Pokeball? I don't know what fighting's weak to. I'm trying to think of Ash Ketchum and what he used in the show. And I don't remember. Dragon moves, sure. He's gonna try to fake me out. He put his hands in my face and made me flinch, you jerk! But I, I don't care, I got Dragon Rage up in here. Ooh, that didn't do so much. He's gonna use smelling salts. Hey, don't make me smell your salts, that's gross. That's really weird, man. I wish Aerial Ace made me fly. You know in the Pokemon, what moves are those where they like fly up in the air and then don't come down for a while? You know what I'm saying? Those moves, good ones. I remember them mostly from Pokemon Stadium. Is that even in Pokemon Game Boy Edition? That you have moved, like, they flew up for a turn. I think they do. Some of the bird Pokemon have to have that. Come on, get stuck. Hariyama. We win. We save the day. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Go work. Okay. Everyone gains stuff. Tyrant grows up. Tyrant wants to learn ancient power, of course. What does ancient power do? Prehistoric Bowser. Not Bowser, power. <laughs> um, charm? I don't really like charm. Tyrant isn't just a, he's not charming, he's really 
gnarly, you know? When I moved, when I first moved to California, um, I, uh, I said wicked once. I don't even remember why, and people made fun of me. That's my, that's my story of the day for you. Like, like, as in cool, but for some reason, I thought, of all places, California, they would know what's up, but apparently they didn't. They thought I was crazy or something. Hollow clip received. Uh-oh. Someone's sending us a freaking holographic naked message. What's up, Sycamore? Hello there. Looks like you've almost made it to Shallow City. That's fantastic. It looks like your journey to the Pokemon of Kyle's is going swimmingly. I wanted to tell you about a person Shallow who knows a great deal about Mega Evolution. People call him the Mega Evolution Guru. I've told everyone else about him, so you have a second. Go give him a visit. What's his name? What kind of transmission is that? There's a dude you should find. Good luck. Can I cut this down? Ah, I want to get in that secret sauce section. I don't know if I have any Pokemon that want to learn cut, though. Let's see. Cut, cut, cut. Use cut. Teach it to somebody who doesn't care. Like Sandile. Sandile. You're going to learn all about cutting things now. Forget about some of your, your life. Forget about... Um, forget about mud slap. Just forget about it. Good work. Nicely done. Sandile learned cut, and now we're gonna cut down this tree and enter the secret section. Get out of here, you little alligator demon! Bam! Chop and drop. Okay. Before I go down the the, the, the little hill there to get that yellow ball. Anybody want to pop out and play? Pokemon, Pokemon, where's, where's, where are you? Come on. Really? This is like just empty grass? I'm scratching my ankles and no one even cares. Come out! Come out, you... Star Starlavia. A wild Starlavia. What kind of Cretan creature is this? Uh-oh, he intimidated that bird? He is pretty intimidating. Kind of looks like an evolution of a crow monster. I'm going to use a flying move against him because I'm afraid that my fire fangs are going to honestly just burn him straight out of the sky. My Charmeleon is pretty strong, so I'm worried that I'm going to kill him here. Shadow Claw is going to take him down, isn't it? Oh, good. We don't even know how to attack each other. I'm worried about this guy. I think he's pretty powerful, so I'm going to put my weakest Pokemon in. Out comes Helioptile! Da, da, Alright, here we go. Wild Staravia used double team. He used double team! You know the announcer's voice from Pokemon Stadium? I have that stuck in my head when a lot of people when a lot of these Pokemon do attacks. All I think about is that announcer being like, uh oh, he's in trouble. Uh oh. Pikachu used Thunderbolt. This guy used Whirlwind and ruined my chances of catching him. What a You suffering succotash. Swallower. Get out of here, bird boy. Leave me alone. Next up. It's a stunky. It's a stinky skunk man made of fat. He looks really chunky and he's got a tail that could rival a peacock. Alright then. I'm gonna burn him. I'm gonna light his smell on fire. How do you like that? Probably gonna kill him instantly. No? Okay. He's gonna put a smoke ball in our brain. It's a Charmeleon in Charmeleon's head. Not, you know... Use your character. Choose your force. Yu-Gi-Oh says, ride that horse. You guys ever watch the uh, the Adventures of Jackie Chan or something like that? I don't even know what the show is called. It was on before Yu-Gi-Oh Saturday mornings. It's like Jackie Chan Adventures. Only reason I ever saw that show is because I turned on the TV before Yu-Gi-Oh actually started. And I just caught a giant skunk, so... Huh. Impressive. I know you guys are like, whoa. It sprays a foul fluid from its rear. Isn't that what everyone does? Anyways. Nope, I'm gonna keep Stunky as Stunky and put him in box seven. He's kinda funny looking. Is he new? I always say that and then you guys are like, no, he ain't new, but I feel like that guy's really new. One more walk through the the, the grass. Mm, mm, mm. It's a Ching Ling! Freaking is he gonna rap for me? Ding ling, ching ling, boom ba bada bing. It's a Pokemon made of string and bell. And it feels like Christmas. Please do tell. And I think I just killed it. <gasps> no, yes, I didn't. I want this one. Give me this bell. Oh, they're so cool. These Pokemon in 3D. I think it's one of the greatest inventions of the year is Pokemon X and Y. 
Does it make my top 10? We'll have to find out in a few weeks. I know I haven't beat it yet, but I feel like it's close. And the scary part is there could be two 3DS games in my top 10. Are you joking? The even scarier part is up to three Nintendo games in my in my top 10. Maybe even four, really, now that I think of it. And the thing that makes me the most pissed is Nintendo is the, the worst about freaking copyright claims on YouTube. Anyways, each time it hops, it makes a ringing sound. It deafens foes by emitting high-frequency cries. Cheng Lang, all up in this business. This has been an episode of Catching Pokemon. I thought it'd be much more about... Um, that was a cool slide, bro. But I got rock polish. You want to become a geologist with me, then freaking I'll hook you up with TM69. Um, the cool part here, though, is that uh, we have found some really awesome Pokemon. And so I don't mind having an episode where we're just adding to the... The stables, and this is a Nidorino. I love Nidorino. I always wanted a Nido King. It was one of the cards that I had a hard time getting in the Pokemon games. I'm probably gonna kill it with Fire Fang, but that's okay. In like the Pokemon uh, card game, you ever play the the Game Boy Color card game, Pokemon TCG or whatever? I don't know. That one was fun. That one was fun. <laughs> All right, we can do it. 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 We can't. We can't. We can't. We can't. We can 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 two can 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 to dance near Reno inside of my box. Get in there. These are big boxes. These are big boxes, guys. These are big boxes. All right. Nicely done. Everyone is just adding themselves to my team. They want to be on my squad. Who wouldn't, by the way? Not to be all weird or whatever, but I think we got a pretty cool team going on here. I take them all to Whole Foods every every day at 5 p.m. Uh-oh. A battle girl's power comes from her belt. It's the weirdest thing a woman has ever said to me. A battle girl's... Battle girl Ger Ger Gerardine. Mindfu. What the freak is this Pokemon? It's a freaking squirrel on steroids of the psychic variety. I don't know how I feel about this. Light it on fire. That's all I gotta say. That's my answer for just about everything. Light it on fire. It didn't really work. He's gonna use Force Palm. Ow! You're gonna make Charmeleon hate me, you stupid squirrel! Put Charmeleon back out there. Alright, fine. I'm gonna really... No, I want Frogadier to evolve. He's like one away. Whoops, I'm sorry. If you got a black screen for half a second there, that's my fault. I had to lower my hands. If I don't hold my 3DS up, sometimes it does that. And I literally have to hold it like up above my waist level. Which is so awkward, but the way my computer is set up right now... Oh, you don't even care. Basically, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I gain XP. Everyone wins. Sandal grows, and he wants to learn Swagger. Turning into Justin Bieber over here. Okay. Get rid of Cut. I don't care. Cut is a move. HM moves can't be forgotten right now. What are you telling me this for? Okay. Stop. Let's be slow and think about this. Forget Swagger. The user enrages and confuses the target. And also raise it. That sounds like a dumb one. I don't care. I, no, I don't want to learn swagger at all. No, no, no. I didn't. Okay, seriously, Pokemon moves. No, keep the old moves. That's what I. Yes, good. Sandile, you don't get to learn. You don't get to learn. Go to school if you want to learn. This isn't. <laughs> this isn't a school. This is a. This is a freaking job. You got to perform, baby. That's a little harsh, but that's that's the life of a Pokemon. You don't choose the Pokemon life, it chooses you. It's another skunk. Alright. Run like the wind, Bullseye Billy. Get out of here, I'll make you silly. Turn you into my favorite filly. You silly little horse. Okay. I want that bird thing again. This is another one of the weird blue men chasing me around in the nighttime sky without a policeman to find. Alright. Get out of here. I'm eight levels higher than you. I don't care. We're going to give it one more try for the bird. Everyone, three claps right now. Okay, sounds good. All right, raise your hands to the sky. Touch your nose to your left pinky. Okay, good. All right, now I want you to kick both your feet up and yell, Super Golf, and I will find the bird. Nope, it didn't work. So one of you didn't do it right. I'm Gosh. All right, it's okay. We're going to give it one final try. This time we're going to employ my super secret technique. So for this one, I need you all to cover your nose with your hair. And if you can't do it, then I just don't care. I'm gonna find the bird anyways. Birdman, Birdman. Freaking. 
Uh... All right. Well, I I can't I can't be uh I I can't be bothered by these kind of things. So I'm gonna just uh. Well, I want Whirlipede to grow. He's pretty darn awesome. So actually, I want Tyrant to grow. Tyrant is growing fast. He's at level 26, and I want to make him into a giant dinosaur that threatens the planet with his stomping powers. So this is a two-person battle, it looks like, up here. And we'll do this to wrap up the episode. First, though, it's a fight. Haya Ichi Nisan. All my training was for this match. Counting in Japanese. Brains and Brown, Frank and Sly. Frank and Sly sent out Mr. Mime and Matt Choke. I haven't seen a Mr. Mime in a long time. That's a cutie. Remember the one that helped out Ash Ketchum's mom? Weird. Strange. I don't think Ash had a dad. You think she was, you know, you know that Mr. Mime and her? I don't know. We're going straight after it, though. Frogadier. Frogadier's going to water pulse. Can we just water pulse everyone? Um, I'm going to actually use round on Macho. Okay. Music to my rocky ears. It doesn't work. Psybeam. Oh my god, he's freaking doing the circle hands and he... Wow. They're really hurting. Oh my god. Don't do this to my boy. Ancient power of the Mr. Mime. And it did nothing. Because ancient power is probably a psychic move. Or it's a rock move. Okay. Rock to Mr. Mime. Frogadier. Water pulse. Macho. I don't know if this is going to work at all, but great. I should probably Hyper Potion, uh, or Super Potion, but I didn't want to. I don't know why, to be honest. That was effective. And Macho kills Frogadier like a jerk. I'm gonna punch you. Making Tyrant do all the work. Ancient Power again. I did not pick that. I picked Rock Tomb. What are you... How did that even happen? What? What, what is going on? I didn't pick that. Alright. Whirlpeed grows. That's good news. Had to have to grow. That's good news. In goes Whirlipede. I wanted him to get some battle experience anyway, so it works out for the best. He's a giant knifed wheel. Like, come on now. Rock Tomb. That's the one I... I can only use Ancient Power? I'm locked into it? I don't remember that ever being the case. Is that really how this works? I'm gonna bite Mr. Mime. He's so crazy. He looks pretty nasty there, though. He's got that evil face on. Bug bite him. Oh, yeah. I bit him with a bug bite. Yeah. And Tyrant uses Ancient Power, which does nothing except fling a few rocks at this goober. Alright, Tyrant. Now it's time to use Strength. Oh, wait. You can only use Ancient Power. What the frick is the point of this move? Whirlipede. Poison Tal. Mr. Mime. He's going to side beam somebody out of here. Man, this has been one of our toughest battles. Yet we've lost some of the strong Pokemon in our stables here. As Whirlipede tries to Poison Tail this guy out of here, which he does. And now Whirlipede gets all the credit. Stealing the XP from the other guys and almost making it to 25. We defeated Brains and Brawn, Frank and Sly. It's all going to be good as we say goodbye. Thank you guys and girls so much for watching. If you're enjoying the series, if you are, be sure to smash it with some like button love, some favorite fun, some comment camaraderie, uh, and that lets me know that you want more, and I'll bring it to you. Last time, there was great support on the video, and if we get that again, I'll bring these faster. Don't you worry. Love you all. Thanks for watching. Thanks for always being the best fans around. Until next time, guys, girls, drink so much. All of my day. Until next time, we'll see you all later.